What is going on, a life with cars family? Welcome back to another beautiful but yet kind of chilly day here in Illinois. And today I'm happy to present to you the first car review of 2019 for a life with cars. This is the 2019 Acura ILX. It's been completely redesigned and we're gonna walk you through some of the cool new features as it has for tech. And we will also be walking you through some of the cool design elements that they've changed on the outside. This car just so happens to be uh, a rather cool package. It's an optional package that you can have on all of the ILXs or order with the ILX. It's called the A-Spec package and Acura has brought that back for the 2019 model year for the ILX. And it adds some really cool features, some wheels, an interior package, and we're going to go through all of those here. Alrighty guys, we're going to start off today. Like I said, this is the 2019 Acura ILX A-Spec. And it's a really cool little car to begin with. Great car for the money. This was a test by my father to find a car for around $30,000 that had front wheel drive, a little bit of luxury, wasn't your regular Camry or Honda Accord, and something with a little bit of flash, a little bit of flair, a little bit of style, and a little bit of performance. And that's where Acura A-Spec comes in. So the interior package includes your little A-Spec badges. Wonderful all leather on the side. We also have this nice kind of style line and strip. And also we have our Alcantara seats. Now, this typically is the exact same design that you get in the regular ILX, but these seats have the nice little Alcantara inserts. So it's a cool little touch. You also get some trim bezels that are slightly different. Uh, this car in particular, the only option it does not have is the navigation. And the sticker price came out to be 32,800 roughly, before taxes. Now this car, Acura has completely redesigned on the interior and the exterior for 2019 as it goes for the styling traits. A lot of the performance attributes and features are the same for this car from the previous generation. It has a 2.4 liter Earthstream Technologies four cylinder and uh, I do believe it revs to 7200 RPM. Uh, coupled to an eight speed automatic, DCT automatic, it is a rather fast shifting transmission. Uh, this car produces 201 horsepower and don't quote me but 180, 190 roughly foot pounds of torque. Exterior features. As you may notice we have different headlight bezels and different taillight bezels. They're smoked headlight and taillight bezels uh, different than the regular chrome bezels that you would receive on the regular ILX base package. Also you receive a slightly different front bumper with smoked chrome instead of regular chrome. And in the rear we also have a very nice diffuser that kind of completes the look of the rear with its chrome tailpipe. Uh, now, you also get your ILX A-Spec badges on the exterior of the car along with a beautiful little wing that really sets the back of the car off in a contrasted black. Um, there are a few options that you can add via Honda Individual or Acura Individual, uh, some side moldings as it goes for the mud flaps, some different little things that you can do, but this is this car was only optioned with the weatherproof floor mats. The car also has a very nice sunroof, of course. You can't have a new car today, seems like, without a sunroof as an option. All of the interior is also nice because this is typically a different color in the regular one too. I believe it's just a black plastic in the other one, but it's a nice kind of smoked chrome. You get all of the interior comforts as it goes for all of your features, your onboard calling. You have Apple CarPlay in this car. You also have some really cool new technology features for Acura in 2019. The adaptive cruise control. We also have lane keep assist and lane guidance warnings um, to where if you stray out of your, rain, your lane, of course, you're going to get an alarm uh, letting you know to move back in, of course. Now this car is also optioned, like I said, with adaptive cruise control, which is your auto cruise control for following vehicles and traffic. And then it also has lane keep assist, and lane keep assist is a really cool feature. It's not quite autopilot, but it will bounce you around on solid lines, especially when you're on the interstate. Now it does not work on all streets, but it is a rather cool 
uh, little feature to have, especially on a, a, a more economy-based style car. Now this car, like I said, with its 2.4 liter four-cylinder, it's virtually identical to your regular um, previous generation Accord 2.4 liter with a slightly different tune, of course, uh, rendition for this car. But it also, it, it's, a, it's a sporty version of a Accord powertrain in what I would consider as a luxury version of a Civic chassis. So if you can uh, imagine the size of the vehicle, it is rather close to a new uh, Honda Civic per se. The interior room, you have decent leg room. Also a cool little feature down there, we have the pedals uh, finished in like a sport pedal trim with the aluminum. It's a really nice use of space. The The interior of Civics, the Civic as a whole has grown. Now as it goes, we have our onboard Apple CarPlay. The phone is not hooked up. Radio, of course. You can have a navigation system as an option on this. You have a very nice uh, kind of aluminum finish start button that does pulse red when you have it. Uh, right before you start. This car of course has hands-free calling and every option that would be uh, that would be offered and mandatory by the US federal government now. We gotta thank them for having all of these things. Standard is standard options on the car. It, uh, it is a nice responsive engine. Revs rather freely. The transmission, the eight-speed dual clutch transmission, this thing fires off shifts. It is very responsive. Slightly slow to the to the touch when you roll into it, but in sport mode, which is this little S selection down here, uh, it is it is actually rather quick to respond. We also have a nice leather wrapped e-brake, which is in the traditional position where you would typically like it. This car also has heated seats, a nice little storage cubby for your phone and things. This car does not have. Uh, wireless charging, but you are buying a basic style vehicle here. Um, it's got a rather nice glove box, good reasonable amount of room. The back seat, we'll have to hop in here and see what that's all about. Alrighty, in the back seat of the ILX, I would consider myself to be about 5 foot 10, 5 foot 11, and the seat is positioned where I would be, and as you see, a normal sized adult, your average sized human like myself, can fit reasonably fine back here. Uh, the seat is reasonably roomy in the back, plenty enough for hauling around any sort of small children. Again, in the back we have our very nice Alcantara insert in the seat. Uh, that, of course, like I said, comes with the A-Spec package. A reasonable amount of room. Nothing fancy back here. Again, this was based on what is actually a Civic. As it goes for headroom, that is something that, uh, you know, is if you, ha if you are a taller person than me, anything over six foot, it can be a challenge to sit in the back of this car. Now, this is a rather comfortable vehicle for myself. Like I said, five foot 10, five foot 11. I have about an inch and a half, two inches of, of headroom up here, as you see. A little bit of headroom, but on a long trip, you know, really stretching out, your head can, can kind of run into the back of this. That's the problem, when you have a car that has a really cool sloping roof line like this to create that awesome style on the outside with its short stubby trunk, you're gonna run into that headroom issue in the back. Now the trunk of the ILX is one spot that it does kind of fail to reckon with. You have this nice little button integrated into the taillight surround, smoked taillight surround on the ILX A-spec package. You just press that, trunk opens up. Reasonable size trunk. You know, good enough to store some things. I'd imagine a set of golf clubs would fit in this trunk. And if you do need more space, consider a larger vehicle. Alrighty, and as we hop on the road here, just to give you an idea of the instant response of this transmission, it is actually rather nice. So let's just kind of slow down right here. We're gonna kick it down into sport mode and that by switching down you can also use it by selecting the paddles over here but it kind of holds the gear a little bit longer we're going to select manual one and off we go wow it 
fires off those shifts, guys. And then when you want to go back into drive or regular sport with automatic, you just hold the right paddle and it will go back to uh, sport drive. Now you have to take it back into regular drive if you want it to not be selecting its own gears for your cornering and you stick it back into drive and it will go back to running like a regular car. Now it does make a quite a bit of, of a difference as it goes for throttle response in sport mode versus the regular drive mode, but as it goes, they are rather similar. Um, responsiveness for the transmission, I feel that it is a little bit better in sport mode, um, mainly just due to the fact of downshift. Uh, it, it kind of anticipates what you're doing with the throttle a little better. I was actually very impressed and was was very very happy to hear that something like this car that is slightly ins inspired by performance uh, has a cool little transmission instead of a crappy CVT automatic like every other Econo box car. Other than that, the driving position is great in this car. It's your regular style driving position of almost every uh, more regular style car. And this, uh, this car does ride rather nice. Um, I will have to say with these larger wheels and tires, the lower profile tires, um, it, is a, it is a little more harsh of a ride. And the Continental factory tires, my only complaint with the actual driving dynamics and characteristics of this car, are the Continental tires are very loud. You may be able to pick up some of the road noise that we're hearing right now. And this is at a measly 35. When you get onto the highway, there is some resonance that occurs and when you get onto the lane strips it does have some some resonance occur through the wheels I do feel like that could possibly be solved with a nice set of Michelin tires upon uh, needing to change them one thing that I just absolutely still love about this car it's got a freaking volume knob still why don't all cars still have volume knobs I don't know why people do the little sliders and the weird volume controls or I, it's, it's so weird. Volume knob, volume knob, volume knob. Car companies, take note at this. Also, one other phenomenal thing with this car. This car does not have auto start stop. It is one of the only new cars that I know of that doesn't come factory with auto start stop. It's not even an option. So cheers to you, Acura, for actually making a car without auto start stop in 2019. I love you for that. <laughs> I'm just extremely happy with the way this really drives. I mean, to be 100% honest, you would you would never expect a little Civic-based car to drive like this does. It does have electronic power steering, so it is a little bit more of a neutral kind of muted style steering. But I mean, just the way it just the way it goes. See, it takes a little bit of time to downshift when you just give it a little bit of throttle. But remember, this is. This is virtually an economy luxury car with a little bit of sport flair. Uh, you can't expect Ferrari quickness out of this gearbox, so I am absolutely thrilled with the response of this vehicle. Um, and I'm sure the owner is too. On this beautiful day with this beautiful ILX, it is finally time to go and return the car. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Uh, just a little overview of the 2019 Acura ILX. If you guys would like to see a more comprehensive overview, complete full features and specs of this car, let me know in the comments below. And if I get enough of you guys looking to have a full comprehensive review on this car as it goes for every single feature that it has, all of its statistics in a true laid out fashion, let me know. Um, but as it goes for right now, guys, I'm just gonna enjoy the rest of the day with the ILX. And I'm going to grab some gas, put my foot down, and get on the road. But again, guys, thanks thanks for being around for another episode of A Life With Cars. And please, if you enjoy this content, subscribe to the channel. Uh, I wanted to thank every single subscriber that is on board with us at this moment. You have helped us get to where we are. And uh, thank you for every single viewer that views the videos, for better or for worse. You guys are the reason why we are here. So enjoy the rest of the day, guys, and we'll see you next time.